students have to be very careful with their campus that is school or college email accounts since many hackers are trying to use student accounts to send spam to other students or to outside emails this is a common problem in many colleges students are seen as easy targets because of their natural curiosity as well as their common need for additional money hello and welcome to var india news r A new study finds that nearly 90% of colleges and universities are putting students, alumni and faculty at risk by not providing protection from email phishing, spoofing and forgery schemes. As a result, institutes of higher education have become a hunting ground for cyber attackers using phishing scams. Business email compromise that is BEC attacks are some of the most popular and devastating attacks out there. They work broadly by sending an email from a spoofed or legitimate address and then asking someone to do something. The spoofed address variety is difficult to spot although a clue usually lies in the reply to address. When an account is compromised, it is then used to send out BEC style emails which becomes really hard to identify. To guard against these attacks, security professionals can do the following that is always hover over URLs to ensure the destination is legitimate. Always look at sender address. If ever unsure about an email, ask your IT. Though this is an example shared out of the US, this could nonetheless become a reality here in Indian educational organizations and business companies where an organization in India is being attacked on average 1742 times per week in the last 6 months compared to 1167 attacks per organization globally and 70% of the malicious files in India were delivered via email in the last 30 days according to Checkpoint's threat intelligence report. The most impacted industries by attackers in the last 6 months is unsurprisingly the education and research sector with 3861 weekly attacks in India versus 2230 weekly attacks globally as per Checkpoint research team. Cybersecurity should not be limited to the classrooms that is either virtual or otherwise. Since most home networks do not provide the same increased firewalls or protections offered by institutions, teachers and students become more susceptible to hacking attempts as they spend more time online. It is important to practice safe online behavior everywhere. While online learning provides many positive opportunities for learners and teachers alike, it is more important than ever to strengthen cybersecurity defenses to deal with new and emerging attacks. Let's look into today's headlines in Var India. Reliance to acquire Metro Cash and Carry India. Reliance Industries will acquire German retail Metro AG's cash and carry business in India in an estimated deal of around rupees 4060 crores, helping the retailer in expanding its presence in the B2B segment. The deal includes 31 wholesale distribution centers, land banks and other assets owned by Metro Cash and Carry in India. Metro Cash and Carry's customers include retailers and Kirana stores, hotels, restaurants and caterers, corporates, SMEs, companies and institutions. Accenture India fires number of employees for using fake experience letters. Global IT services company Accenture's Indian arm has fired a large number of employees for securing job offers using false credentials and experience letters from fraudulent companies. Accenture fired the employees after the company found out about a racket that supplies fake credentials and documents to people to help secure jobs. It is reportedly said that around 12,000 to 18,000 people may have been fired. Kerala government to refund tech license cost to startups. Kerala has launched a scheme titled Technology Transfer Scheme to reimburse the expense incurred by startup ventures to obtain technology licenses from government research institutions in the country to commercialize and scale up their products. Under the scheme, the government will reimburse up to rupees 10 lakhs to startups purchasing or sourcing technology from government research institutions and working on them to develop products that could be commercialized. Meta to reportedly undergo large scale layoffs. Meta Platforms Inc is planning to begin large scale layoffs this week affecting thousands of employees. The move comes as Meta is struggling with slow global economic growth, competition from TikTok, privacy changes from Apple, concerns about massive spending on the metaverse and the ever present threat of regulation. 
Meta earlier forecasted a weak holiday quarter and significantly more costs next year, wiping about $67 billion off its stock market value. Google India records 79.4% increase in advertising sales. In the 2022 fiscal year ending March, Google India witnessed a jump of 79.4% in advertising sales as compared to the previous year. The tech giant generated Rs 24,926.5 crores revenue from advertising. In the financial year 2021-22, Google India recorded a turnover of Rs 9,286 crores and Rs 1,238.9 crores net profit. Google provides advertising space and allows users to run online advertisements through programs such as Google Ads and other platforms. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to VAR India News Magazine. You can download the VAR India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.